guys, Drew here from the Guitar Brothers Company, and today I'm here with part two of the Dig New Streams tutorial by Switchfoot. Sorry guys, I know it's been a little more than a week since I posted part one of the video, a little more, but uh, I've been busy with a few other projects that I think you guys would like to see, so those will be coming up here in the in the future. So now, let's get into part two of Dig New Streams by Switchfoot. Uh, we're going to come in on this riff that goes like this. <laughs> And uh, what that is, is we're going to start here. I, I like to have it on position 4 on my Strat. I know Drew Shirley's, he was like a jazz master star guitar with P90s in it. And I think he's on the bridge pickup just because it has that kind of twangy sound to it. Um, and it's pretty low in the mix the first couple times he plays it, but you'll hear later it kicks up when John joins in on the same riff. So that riff is going to start here on the 1st fret, the low E string. Then it's going to come to the 3rd fret. Then on the A string. Open, one, three, so, then you want to slide up to the 7th fret, alright, then we're going to play the 5th fret of our D string, then back to the G uh, on the 3rd fret of our low E string, so, into a G power chord, which slides up to an A power chord, and then to a uh, C power chord. And then we repeat that like that. So uh, all together, the timing is really funny, so you just kind of have to listen and practice it, but it goes like this. His guitar is, is louder and more distorted, so you know we hear it really cut through the mix, and that's actually how I was able to figure out how they play it. And uh, so we're gonna do the same thing. But now uh, instead of going into, we're gonna come and follow that same pattern, but just with power chords. And uh, Drew's going to keep doing that, but John is going to break into his solo, which we'll get to right now. So, uh, in case you haven't noticed, in addition to being Dig New Stream State, it's also New Guitar Day. Uh, this PRS SE 245 in whale blue. The finish is a little darker than most, but I still like it. The flame top is beautiful. I'm actually going to have a video coming out on this soon, once I get to know him a little better. So what that is, is we're going to uh, bend here on the 5th fret of our high E string. Then come to the 3rd fret. Then we're going to slide from the 5th to the 6th fret of our B string. Uh, third fret of our high E string, back to the sixth fret of our uh, B string, and slide back down to the fifth. Then we're going to play the third fret of our B string, then E string. And then we're going to play the fifth or the third, sorry, and then the fifth fret of our G string. Then slide from the uh, fifth fret to the eighth fret of our B string. So. Then we're going to, we're going to bend here on the, I guess that's the 9th fret, 10th fret, sorry. We're going to bend on the 10th fret of our B string. And then we're going to hit the 
eighth fret of our high E string. In the album, I think he's just. But uh, when he plays it live, John he goes. All right, so just. And then it's a eight ten on the B string. Then we're gonna come up and play one of these double stops. Um, and the double stop is here on the B string and the A or the D string. Sorry. And we're gonna play it first at the twelfth fret and slide down. All right. So all together so far, that goes like this. double stop section where we're gonna do that the same thing with the B string and the D string we're gonna you, you can you can just mute and strum but I just like to like hybrid pick where I pick the D string with my pick and I pluck the B string with my uh, my middle finger so we play the ninth fret 12th then the was it the 15th? Yeah. Then the 17th. And then on the 17th? So it's 9, 12, 15, 17, then 17 bend. And then we're going to come back to that on the 15th and slide down. Alright? So all together that double stop section goes like this. Now we're going to come up to our our uh, 11th or 13th fret, sorry, of our B string. We're going to bend up, and we're going to hit the 13th fret of our high E string with our pinky here. See that? That's a that's a pretty common little blues lick. Then we're going to uh, release the bend like that. Then come to the eleventh uh, fret with our first finger here. Then we're going to slide on our uh, G string down to the seventh fret. Play the tenth uh, fret of the D string. So ten seven. Then we're going to play the ninth. Uh, we're going to pull off from the 9th fret of the uh, G string to the 7th. Then we're going to sort of bend on the 10th fret of the D string a little bit. So all together from the double stop section, it's going to go like this. the end of the solo. He just kind of holds out that note and it sustains because he's standing in front of his amp and it's feeding back and he does that for like probably three and a half minutes before they go into the next section, uh, which I will be teaching you actually next week this time. If you guys like this video, go ahead and leave us a like below. Uh, comment what you thought. Um, I, I was having a significantly better hair day this week, so that's good. No hats. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel to see more guitar content coming your way. Uh, those projects are upcoming. More lessons are upcoming. Lots of things are upcoming. The future is coming, guys. So, uh, you have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.